Today is Monday, the 8th of December, and I'm going to talk about what happened over the last week and what we will expect in the second week. And I'll start by giving a general overview of the dynamics and the processes involved in the two weeks of each year's conference of parties. We start on a Monday and we go through to the end of the first week with the negotiators looking at the text that's available, the negotiating text. And then in the second week, the ministers start arriving on Monday and then they take over at the higher political level to try and uh, resolve anything that was not resolved at the negotiators level. Uh, many people uh, feel very disappointed at the end of the first week because of lack of progress. This is inherent and built into the system. The system is not geared to having progress in the first week for several reasons. The, the main one being the fact that negotiations take place in parallel tracks and the negotiators for one track only have authority to make some uh, minor compromises but not major compromises and they cannot make compromises across tracks so they cannot trade off we will give you something here if you give us something somewhere else because they're not in charge of what's happening in the other track only the minister can do that when he arrives so once he or she arrives so once the ministers come all the tracks come together and the horse trading starts so one country says all right i'll give you uh, something what you want on track A, but you have to give me what I want on track B. That's how deals are done and everything is a deal and a compromise and it is uh, everybody giving something and getting something in return. Uh, and so that happens when the ministers arrive. The negotiators can only do a few things. Having said that, the negotiators have actually done uh, a fair amount. They've uh, wrapped up the uh, number of items, including gender. There was an important gender item here. And there was quite a lot of fight about whether or not gender equality should be included, with the Saudis in particular objecting to the words gender equality. In the end, it did get mentioned once, not several times as it was in the original text. So that's a good win. Uh, there are several others that have also been resolved uh, on adaptation and loss and damage. I won't go into the details now. But to mention how the dynamic shifts from week one to week two, from when the negotiators are negotiating detailed text to when the leaders and the, the uh, ministers arrive and they start doing political, they do political deals. And that's where we are now. The uh, Minister for Environment of Peru, who is the president of this COP in Lima, Manuel Pulgar Vidal, invited a few very select uh, senior uh, informal friends uh, to dinner last night to consult with them. One of them was the former president of uh, Mexico, uh, Felipe Calderon, uh, who gave shared his experience of how he successfully managed the Cancun agreement in COP16 in uh, Mexico, a very important agreement at a very difficult time. It was immediately after the fiasco of Copenhagen, politically sensitive, so we learned lessons from him. And I'm very sure that the Peruvian presidency has things in hand and will get us a deal by the end of next week. Uh, I'll talk about that in my following blogs over the next few weeks.